साईराम स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्सटीन दैट इज नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस सो चिल्ड्रन यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस इन द लास्ट इयर सो दिस इयर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी समथिंग मोर इन डिटेल अबाउट द नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस राइट सो वॉट आर नैचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर वॉटर एंड लैंड these are the three important factors for sustaining the living world on the earth and for fulfilling the basic needs and these are called as the natural resources right so air is nothing but your atmosphere hydrosphere is your water and lithosphere is your land right so natural resources uh, the substances uh, they are easily available in nature right and they satisfy all our daily needs so soil stone minerals water air plants and animals these are all present on the earth and these are the examples of natural resources right so now let's see natural resources in the earth's crust so earth's lithosphere it is made up of land and the hard crust beneath it so the earth lithosphere as i told you lithosphere is nothing but your land right so it is made up of land and hard crust beneath it so below the earth there is hard crust lithosphere is not homogeneous but is made of many types of rocks so not homogeneous means it is not the same lithosphere is, the land is not the same everywhere right but it is made up of different different types of rocks resources in the earth's crust include minerals ores mineral oil other fuels rocks water elements etc so inside the earth's crust there are uh, many resources like minerals ores mineral oil fuels rocks water elements etc right so what is it uh, the natural resources in the earth's crust that the earth's lithosphere it is made up of land and below the land there is a hard crust and this lithosphere it is not the same everywhere it is made up of many types of rocks and in this earth's crust there are other resources like your minerals ores mineral oil fuels rocks water elements etc now metals they are obtained from their ores by extraction and purification impurities of sand and soil in an ore are called as gan now how are these metals obtained from the ores they are obtained by the process of extraction and purification you have to extract it and then purify to obtain these metals now in the sand and the soil then right, these are the impurities in the ore and they are called as gans mineral wealth has an important place among the natural resources minerals are formed by various processes taking place in environment rocks on the earth are mainly made up of minerals so in the natural resources the mineral wealth it has take it is it has an important place and how are these minerals formed there are various processes taking place in the environment and mostly on the the rocks which are present on the earth these are mainly made up of minerals so the mineral wealth it has a important place in the natural resources and these minerals they are formed by the various processes which are taking place in the environment on the earth there are many different types of rocks and from these rocks we mostly get minerals now children this is the process of mining right in this mining process you get different types of minerals right now these minerals they are obtained by mining so as i showed you just now the picture right only few metals like gold silver copper platinum and bismuth they occur in free state in nature majority of the metals they occur in the form of compounds so minerals you get the by the process of mining only there are few minerals 
metals that is your gold silver copper platinum and bismuth which is there in the free state in the nature you need not do any mining process and get it right and well, many of the metals they occur in the form of compounds so compounds as i had told you compounds they are formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements right so majority of these metals they occur in that form of compounds so platinum is nothing but children it is a silvery white metal and bismuth it has got a reddish tinge right so minerals that contain high proportion of metal are called as ores it's economical to obtain metals from ores so uh, the ores uh, if there where there is high proportion of metal in the minerals they are called as ores and we can obtain metals from ores easily because it is economical we can uh, we need not spend lot of money for obtaining this metal from the ores the properties of the minerals become clear from their characteristic color luster hardness shape cleavage or fracture and streak so uh, uh, every mineral has got some properties and how do you identify these properties by seeing their color by seeing the luster that is the shininess by seeing the hardness by seeing the shape of the mineral or by seeing the cleavage or fracture means whether it has got a split or it has got a separation and streak means whether it has got a thin line or a mark so because of these characteristic uh, uh, identities we can identify the properties of the minerals so minerals they can be ident uh, mineral properties of the minerals you can identify from their color luster hardness shape cleavage or fracture and streak now we are going to see children how are minerals formed so magnetite and mica these are the two minerals which are formed from the magma in the earth's crust and the lava from the eruption of volcanoes so when they cool and when they cool they get transformed into crystals so magma in the earth's crust is nothing but your uh, hot semi liquid rock which is there in the earth's crust and from the volcanoes there is a eruption of lava so what happens they get cool and then they get transformed into crystal then halite and gypsum these minerals they are formed when the solid crystals remain behind after the process of evaporation so you all know right when a process of evaporation takes place some substances remain behind right so these are the crystals which remain behind and these minerals are formed halite and gypsum then diamond and graphite now how these minerals are formed they are formed uh, the minerals they get transformed from one form into another due to large changes in temperature and pressure so you know children there is always change in the temperature and pressure so that time these minerals are formed that is they get transformed from one form to the other right next is about conches and shell some living organisms they produce inorganic minerals for example conches and shells they are formed from the protection of the body right so the, the shell you know it's a living organism right so from this shell you get pearl right white pearl right so from that the mineral is formed right now here are some non metal minerals metal minerals and energy minerals right so mica sulfur gypsum potash graphite diamond feldspar these are all non metal minerals and what are metal minerals iron gold silver tin bauxite manganese platinum tungsten these are all metal minerals coal mineral oil natural gas these are all what energy minerals right now some important minerals like diamond silver ruby sapphire emerald jade zircon these are used as gems and gems are in great demand right so many people in their finger ring they use uh, they put this gems right 
so um, let me see here the children the precious stones this green color is your emerald white color is your diamond this is your crystal quartz this is your zircon which is greenish blue in color then topaz uh, sapphire ruby red in color opal um, amber right so these are the uh, some of the precious stones which people use in the finger rings right so these are called as gems and they are in great demand they are costly also right so this was what in today's session children uh, before that children i would like to tell you that there is an indian school of mines in dhanbad it was established in 1926 and this school it gives education on mining but now its name has been converted into indian institute of technology so this was what in today's session children let's recap what we have learnt in today's session so children we had seen the natural resources that is air water and land these are the important natural resources for sustaining the living world on the earth and for fulfilling our basic needs so air is your atmosphere hydrosphere is your water and lithosphere is your land right then we saw about the minerals right so there are many minerals uh, right inside the earth crust also they are in the um, uh, rocks also you can find out the minerals right so the metals uh, we can obtain metals by the process of extraction and purification now some metals they are they occur in free in nature right like your gold silver copper platinum bismuth and some minerals you have to uh, obtain them by the process of mining right then we saw children how minerals are formed right some minerals they are formed uh, by the process of evaporation some are formed by the changes in the temperature and pressure then some are formed because uh, of the eruption in the because of the lava in the volcano and uh, the magma in the earth's crust when they get cool they get transformed into crystal then we saw that some living organisms uh, they produce inorganic minerals right like your conscious and shells then we saw about some important uh, <coughs> precious stones right uh, like your ruby diamond Uh, then your uh, sapphire uh, then your uh, uh, emerald ruby etc right so in the next session children we'll see more about the natural resources till then goodbye